Do your kids have a good teacher? How do you know? Maybe the teacher next door is better. Maybe there's a better teacher in another state. Maybe there's a world's best teacher or several. Wouldn't it be great if your kids could have that teacher? Well, today, yes, you can. Yay, I got it. Got my total. Woo! Yeah. Oh, wow. These kids are this excited about a math website. It's amazing. Negative four, minus four, and we are done. It taught me a lot of things. Five years ago, hedge fund analyst Sal Khan created videos like these to tutor his cousin. That worked out well, so then I started tutoring her brothers and more cousins and all the rest, and I had to do the same lecture over and over again. So I had a friend who, who said, hey, Sal, why don't you uh, put some of your lectures on YouTube? I decided to give, <laughs> give it a shot. Welcome to the presentation on Basic Edition. Soon, thousands watched his lectures. I started getting letters from people and uh, comments on YouTube, and they are, they're not like, hey, I think this kind of might have helped on my math exam. They're like, I got a, I failed calculus the first time. I've started watching the videos. Now I'm acing the class. The YouTube numbers kept rising, and he got letters from the Middle East, Africa. What Saul Khan has done is amazing. Now Khan is funded by Bill Gates, and he offers web lectures on everything from history to economics to computer science. His videos are viewed millions of times. Not only is it reaching millions of students right now, but even if, you know, God forbid, I got hit for, by a bus when I walked outside, it'll still be able to reach millions of, and maybe eventually billions of students. You just happen to be good at teaching? Well, I'll take that as a compliment. <laughs> it is a compliment. He's a great teacher. I hope that helps. See you in the next video. It's really helping us learn a lot more. It's exciting that he gets kids so excited about math. Yeah, yeah totally. <laughs> in most parts of life, things have gotten much better. Cars, computers, cell phones. Education, not so much. Right. You know, you, you rewind, I don't know, 80 or 90 or 100 years, and you would have the local band that, you know, if you, if you had a party, <laughs> that, that was the only gig and dash. Each village might have Each a village. storyteller exactly. or a singer. Exactly. Exactly. But then once you have mass media coming out, then they'll say, wait, why don't we take the best musician, the best actor, uh, the best storyteller in whatever way, and record it and put it out on radio, put it out on, on records or, you know, or whatever. And I think, in theory, that could have happened with education before. But it hasn't. Even for basic math, multiplication tables, I thought they'd be using video games. Yeah. Why not? There's a huge bureaucracy, most of which wants to say no to change the system. It's and the blob, people it's, call it. It's the blob. And it is. And, and I think what's fun from our point of view is that we are able to reach students outside of the blob. This California school district started using Khan's videos in fifth grade classrooms. The teachers were skeptical. But now they're impressed at what it does for the kids. They're happy to walk in the door every morning. They're excited about math. It isn't, oh, we're doing math. It's like, oh my gosh, we have math this morning. That's great. She was like learning new things. We assume that most people on their own don't want to do, don't want to learn, or don't want to get engaged in mathematics. And yeah, but, I, but I, I think they're just frustrated because they're, they're, most of them are in classrooms that are not catering to them. At first, teachers worried that the online instruction could replace them. But I think it's so wrong, as my teachers would tell you, they have taught more math than they've ever taught before. Now teachers can tutor kids one-on-one. -on -one. I noticed you were having some issues with fractions. You can go at your own pace. And because kids can go at their own pace. So I've got students who are still working on easy multiplication, and then I've got students who are working in high school math. Some kids enjoy Khan's lessons so much they study at home. Some of them are doing two and three hours a night at home when I'm asking for 15 minutes. When I'm at home and I have some time, I just log on. and It's way more fun to do math. So finally, after all these years of kids being bored in school and not learning math, that's over? I, I, I think it might be. Hope so. If it happens, it will be thanks to those online classes or the charter schools or other experiments that break out of the union-dominated government monopoly. Let a thousand flowers bloom. It's competition that's given us better medicine, transportation, technology, everything. Don't our kids deserve that too? That's our show.